Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. Today I've been, been actually really busy. Thank you for asking. Holy crud. Thank you, Shrivit. Actually, what's cool about this is uh, right now I'm live streaming I'm over on Twitch and Beam. I'll put a link in the description. Here's the new idea, guys. 7 o'clock Tuesday night, 7 p.m. I'm going to be doing these every week. So. I'm actually going to keep Effects Friday polished. I might live stream the editing process afterwards, but Tutorial Tuesday, since Brandon's not here right now, I can't do two polished tutorials every week. Polished as in like me recording, editing, and like doing all these crazy things. It's like takes up my life. It's pretty crazy. Like a tutorial takes a long time to edit. So um, I don't want to annoy you guys with all that backstory, but um, basically I'm going to be live streaming. Tuesday night, 7 o'clock MST, that is Mountain Standard Time over at Twitch. Follow me on there and then be able to comment real time. I can ask you guys questions. You guys can ask me questions. I can help you walk through the tutorial and like, it's just a different way of doing a tutorial. I've never tried it. I don't know what it's going to be like. It might be cool. It might not be, um, but we'll, we'll figure it out together. We will. But anyway, today's tutorial actually comes from, I'll, I'll bring it over here. Whoa, Inception. Whoa, that's super weird. Okay, so. Rebel Ron here. <laughs> I forgot that I get. I have to change that. Rebel Ron, he wanted to know how we create film burns. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be teaching you guys in real time this tutorial how to do this. All right, so without further ado, let's go up to After Effects. And you will see that uh, the footage here, this is Brandon. Oh, man. I miss him. <laughs> I miss Brandon. This footage here is actually old. It's from one of our old tutorials right here. Um, sexy movie look but I know that you guys don't want to go looking for this so I'll just create a whole new project file for you guys get it at chichacheckit.com slash downloads for free if you want it if you don't want it whatever man I don't, I don't care it's, it's free anyway so if you want it you can have it but um this project file will be there and uh, all these things so basically what we're gonna be going over today is two different effects one is the more standard transition like light leak where it's like all over the place purple orange it's like spread out it looks really good for for transitions very colorful but just just an overall more slow good looking effect and, it, and you can speed it up for transitions but like you use this more for like music videos and just giving the film more of a, a movie look a more beautiful vintage look and then you have a different type, which is these sharp leaks, which is more, more of like a film burn. This is more of like the, the quick, like little tiny burns that come onto the screen and then disappear really fast. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, here, okay, there's a little one right there. It'd be easier if I just actually went into these and showed you here. So here's the, here's what we're going to be creating right here. All within After Effects, no third party plugins, free. So. Yeah, it's going to be cool. We're going to be doing both of these. So without further ado, let's do it. Um, actually, I'm not going to delete these. I'm just going to go new project. Clean slate. Well, hmm. uh, no, I already have it saved, so we're good. All right. So um, first things first, let's go down and create a new composition here. Uh, we'll just call this uh, light leaks. This is like our main composition. Now we'll double click here um, in this blank canvas area. And then we'll go up and we'll grab the shots and also the cinescope, which is just very quick um, anamorphic widescreen. So we're going to import that. Okay. And then we'll grab these two and we'll just click and drag them down to this blank canvas area. And there it created a nice composition down here. And now we're just going to click and drag this. I'm going to do a really quick edit. After Effects is not an editing program. Never do this at home. Don't try this at home, guys. Okay. Um, we're going to... <laughs> Actually, let's, let's, let's use this bottom one first. Here. All right. Um, let's actually fade this one in since this is on. Right, so we'll put this on bottom. All right. So this top one, we're going to come to about the middle point. Let's go to about five seconds here. And at this point, we are going to hit T on the first shot. I'm going to hit the stopwatch, go over a few frames, probably like a second and a half. 
go down to zero that just creates a really quick fade out okay because like i don't want to spend all day on this and there nice little transition for you um next we're gonna go and actually let's, let's just start creating the effect now but tank die eli you were how can you wear a hoodie in the summer? Oh, actually this is uh it's actually cold in washington but anyway <laughs> oh this is so cool live streaming tutorial anyway um okay where was i oh the light leaks that's where we are okay so let's uh, actually create another new composition and we're gonna put this composition inside of this composition composition compception but let's click it and let's call this sharp leaks this is the first one we're gonna make and uh let's create a new solid by hitting control y control or command y um name it sharp you name it whatever you want color does not matter because we're just going to go over to the effects of presets type in turb or turbulent noise and drag it over the sharp layer and uh this one's a little different we're going to go into the fractal type we're going to go down to dynamic progression noise type we're going to go down to spline contrast we're going to want to bring that baby up this is all personal preference like you don't have to do anything that i'm doing this is not um e ding this isn't ta ding this isn't let me say that in english oh that's right <laughs> i just can't that's such a toolbox thing to do anyway um what what we want to do is like it, it doesn't matter because eventually you can go back and you can change it if you want okay pay sure of it you can change this later so don't worry about it brightness we'll go into the negatives here and we'll bring it down um nothing needs to be set in stone that's a good way of saying it. there you go nothing is set in stone you can always go back and fix it later so uh, to summarize 250 brightness negative 70 call it good now we're going to go down to the Let's go to the evolution here and let's create a simple expression. Eli is not Chinese. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and to um, create an expression, all we have to do is click, well, alt click on this stopwatch here. That'll bring up the um, expression menu. And we can type in a nice little algorithm. Um, for this one, we're going to use a wiggle. Wiggle, parenthesis. Um, let's just do a. 1 comma 500 and parenthesis and we're gonna hit enter that will end the expression and you're looking at this and you will notice that it's uh, animating so what what does this expression do that you're probably or this algorithm do you're probably asking yourself that wiggle what it does is it wiggles the pixel this is every second so once per second it's going to move on um, that whatever you're you're animating 500 pixels so every once every second it'll move at 500 pixels if i change this to two it'll go every uh twice every second it'll move at 500 pixels and so on um so that's just a quick way to do things without having to set keyframes you can always set the keyframes if you want to be very specific but you don't how'd you learn these algorithms um the internet you can type in what are algorithms you can type in like wiggle algorithms you can type in all sorts of things Gallifrey. that was a good question yeah you could just <laughs> you just gotta learn them over over the years i'm sure you, you'll learn this too man like it's kind of like excel like excel has tons of algorithms and you just learn them as you go it's just how it is as you do these effects okay good question oh that tastes good all right so next what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to mess with this because right now this is too sharp because if you were if you were to uh, put this over on um, footage it's going to just look ugly so complexity is how we fix very sharp looking animation here so let's bring it down to one don't go past two for this effect you, you want either one or two trust me all right so next um, in the transform menu, we're going to bring down that and we're just going to scale way up. I'm going to bring it up into like 1200 area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Sweet. And now with that, we have a nice looking effect already. 
So, um, if you bring down the evolution options, if you don't like what it looks like right now, you can always just change the random seed and you find something that you like. Well, that's going to be kind of cool looking, but like, just to show you guys, you can just go through this until you find something that you just love. That looks okay. Best. It's not, it's not perfect, but and what is? That one's kind of cool. That one's really simple. I like I like this one a lot. Yeah, how it's like up in the corner and stuff like that. I actually like that one a lot. I'll probably use that. And so, so cool and organic. Yeah, man. And like, you can just keep going through this and like just change it. It's completely customizable. All right, effects and presets. We're going to type in uh, Colorama. Yeah, there she is. Double clicker. And uh, this has a really nice output cycle preset. We're just going to go over to the user preset or the use preset palette. And we're just going to go down to fire. And this already looks like what most people want out of the effect. But we're not going to settle for less. We're going to go back up to the effects and presets. And we're going to type in a hue and saturation. We're going to add that on top of it. And with this, you can click uh, colorize at the bottom and you can change the hue here. If we find a better picture of it, you can change it to green. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, a lot of people will use purple for this effect. They'll either use purple or orange. That's like what most people will use. But um, what also looks really cool is just animating this. Uh, let's turn up this saturation just so you get more color out of it. 80, 78, whatever, doesn't matter, you can always change it in the future too. But, um, let's see, colorize hue, let's actually alt click on this colorize hue, we're going to alt click on the stopwatch to bring up the um, expression menu once again, and the algorithm we're going to use once again is wiggle, and uh, this time, let's do three times every second. We want it to move 50 pixels and parenthesis number keypad enter that's how you close the expression and what this will do is it'll change colors constantly and just give you more cool look uh i don't like that though let's let's go back into this expression let's change it to two two comma 50 and see how that looks still don't like it that much let me go back. Change yeah. that. Take a gander. It's not yellow enough for me. Yellow. So I'm actually gonna reset this down to zero. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grab. Put it more into the yellow area. It's green. Want it more. It's purple. Let's see. Go more red. Ah, uh, nope. Kinda. That's kind of cool. Bluish. I mean, you, you could just mess with this until you get something that you like. I'm not the boss of you, honestly. Oh, there you go. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. So I, I put I put, I made it start more at zero, but it's it's really up to you. Whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> Hangover. Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay, so um, that's basically that uh, that particular sharp leak. That one's done now. What you can do is you can go back to your project. You can go back to your light leak menu here, and uh, we can grab the light leak or the the sharp leaks that we just made. Click and drag it on top, uh, making sure that you have the um, blending modes options open. You can go to screen. Screen is more of like a light a light look here have it on full with me like streaming it's not I can't have it at full I'm sorry guys but <clears throat> let's take a gander here what most people will do is they won't have it on screen they'll have it on add Add is a more more bright looking effect you see that um, but I'm not I'm not liking this too much mostly because this footage it's not color corrected at all or anything like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click um, on the cinema 
this uh, cinescope up here. This is just if you just click and drag this onto 1080p or 720p footage, it will make it into the aspect ratio of um, uh, its anamorphic widescreen here. It just makes it more of a movie look. Now with this first shot, um, I'm going to click and drag while holding shift. And that'll just uh, move Brandon down some more. And then with this uh, second shot, I'm just, I'm just kind of composing this right now. Just making it look more pleasing to the eye. I'm, I'm making sure that this plane is more, more straight. It looks better to the eye here. Okay. And now, that, that's already looking a lot better. But, oh, I look at that. Looks awesome. But, what, what we also want to do is we want to hit Control or Command Alt Y. And that will bring up an adjustment layer if we... Select it and hit enter. We can rename it. We're just going to call it CC for color correction. Let's hit that again. Control or command alt Y. And we'll call uh, hit enter and we'll just call this Viggy. And uh, Viggy stands for vignette. Okay, now we're going to go up to the effects presets, type in curves. Grab a curves adjustment. Click and drag it onto Viggy. We'll start with Viggy. Oh, and what else uh, that I might need to <laughs> bring him down some more? Shh, bro. <laughs> Oh, I miss Brandon. Alright, but anyway, um, what these adjustment layers are doing is whatever is below them will be affected. So, Viggy, if I if I click and drag it down below the sharp leaks, it will not affect the sharp leaks layer. But if I have it above the sharp leaks, it's going to make it's gonna mess with that effect. So make sure that you click and drag these only above what you want affected so we want the color correction also um above the first shot and second shot unless like you want to affect the other ones but like i don't know why you'd you'd want to do that that just messes with everything that you have control over anyway uh <laughs> anyway let's create a nice viggy right here um we're just going to drag down the, the bottom end here and then we're going to go up to the ellipse tool, which normally is on the rectangular tool. So just click and hold, go down to the ellipse tool, double click while Viggy is selected. We're going to invert it, bring down the mask properties, just bring up the feather here. There you go. All right. And now what we're going to want to do is uh, we can select the curves once again, drag and drop it onto the CC layer and create a nice simple S curve. <laughs> yeah, bring up the, so bring down the, crush the blacks, raise the whites. That's what we want to do. That's not racist, it's color correction term. <laughs> All right, so next what we want to do is um, check out the effect that we made. Look at that, super cool. Oh man, that looks super good. Oh man, that looks good. Awesome. All right, so with that, now we can move on to the second set of light leaks. The more, um, this is more of like a transition light leak or like a more overall effect. It's, uh, in my opinion, this is one I use more. Um, so let's uh, go back to the project layer, create another new composition. We'll call this one soft leaks hit enter all right so once again we're going to create a solid so control or command y and it doesn't matter what the solid color is um let's just call it soft enter okay go over to the turb the effects and presets type in turb turbulent noise once again we're just repeating the process this time you don't have to mess with the fractal type or noise type okay um, bring up the contrast. That's fine. We'll do the same same effect. It doesn't doesn't really matter what you make this for right now. What does matter is that you keep more um, for the brightness. So we only want to go down to like negative fifty here. Okay. Uh, next, we want to go down to the complexity. We want about one. This one you need one. Definitely need one here. And transform. Bring the scale way up. So it's super soft. So you can even bring up the brightness more. Bring that down more for a more worn out effect. All right. Um, evolution. You can always change the random seed later. But for right now, we want to 
uh, animate the evolution once again. Hey, what's up, Iron Bra? Holy crud. <laughs> Sal May. Anyway, um, for this one, what we want to do is we're going to do a, an expression once again. So in the evolution options, we're going to go to the random seed. Alt click. Oh, sorry. My, my head is. Oh, what just happened? Turb turbulent noise. We're going to go to the evolution. Sorry. That's where we're going to alt click on the evolution settings. Ah, that was totally my bad. So. What we're going to want to do is we're going to do a time. So time and type in time. This algorithm is um, time and then multiplied by whatever factor you want. If you want a more fast effect, you're going to put it up to like 300. But if you want a slow effect, about 100. We're just going to cut it in the middle right now. Put it at 200 just to see what happens because you can always go back and change it. That's the beauty of these effects. So hit enter. And let's take a gander at what we've made. Whoa. So that's pretty fast. I can already tell it's going to be really fast. Let's bring that down to 100. But it does not look bad at all. Look at that. Um, it gets kind of hard here. <laughs> that's what she said. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's bring down the brightness. Bring down the contrasting. You just want it more soft here. Brightness a bit. Transform. Zoom in even more. There we go. That's that's nice and soft. Uh, maybe mess with the evolution options. See what we got here. Oh, that looks super good. Holy crud. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oof. Oof. That is tasty. <laughs> All right, so next what we're going to want to do is uh, colorize it. So this time we're just going to go over to tint and we're going to double click color correction tint and we're going to map the white. That's this one. And let's make this um, orange. Let's make this one orange. Okay. Let's see how that looks. It's a little, that's a little too dark back into this. Bright orange. And yeah, we'll see how that looks. I'll bring more color back. Yeah. Okay. And we can always fix this later. But anyway, this one, let's actually rename this and we'll call this one orange. I forgot that we actually have two that we're going to want. So if we hit um, control D or yeah, that'll duplicate it. And this one we'll hit enter and we'll call this one purple. Okay, so for this layer, I'm just going to change this color to purple. Okay, and then um, we're just going to go into the random seed and we're just going to change it to another another one. This one we're going to click the add. And there you go. Oof. Okay, but the purple only stays in a little bit, so let's actually change the seed here. Oh, baby, look at that. Oof. That's actually pretty good. Wow. See, that was not bad, but that you can see how if you just mess with this for a little bit, you can really, really get a cool looking effect. I mean, like how much time have we even spent? Like not even that long. It just looks so good. My wife thinks <laughs> Emma Watson. <laughs> oh, it's classic. Okay. Anyway. Um, okay, that looks good. Boom. So now that we have this, we can go back into our project. Back to um, the light leaks layer here. And we have the sharp leaks off. So now we can take the soft leaks and drag that in. And now we can set this one to add. There you have it, folks. Boom. Gorgeousness. You can't really tell. Because it's, uh, if I, if I hit zero, it'll render out real quick. And you can get a better look. Honestly, it's good to be back. Yeah, it is. Back editing. Back doing this stuff. Oof. So good. 
guys. Look at that. Mmm. It's tasty. If you want the effect to be more in your face, you can go back into it and just fine tune it. I mean, this is, the, it literally has like, you, the, the limits on this is your imagination. Honestly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just go back into it and you can just mess with it until you get something that you really, really like. Um, what you want is that. Um, I don't know why this is looking like that. Okay, there we go. That would be brighter. The orange is like really dark. Bring up the contrasting more. There we go. I'll be brighter. Now if we go back into the light leaks layer, see that it's a lot brighter of an effect. In theory it should be. But um yeah. That's that's basically it. So my buddy, my buddy over here, Rebel Ron, I, I hope this answered your question. I hope that you uh learned something from this. I know that you're not in the the Twitch live stream, but Check it fam, next week, Tuesday, 7 o'clock, Mountain Standard Time, if you have time, tune in, and uh, let's let's learn together. Also, make sure that you leave a comment and like the video because it helps out so much, but especially, especially, leave a suggestion as to like what you'd want to see in the next live streaming tutorial. Um, I, I love getting requests and I love helping you guys out, so um, just let me know. And I'll do my best to help you out. Um, I will render this out and get it to you guys as fast as possible. <laughs> oh, it's <your> bit. <laughs> oh, man. It's great. It's great to be back, man. But uh, anyway, guys, I will see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs> Party!